I'm Michael Driscoll, president of IUP. I would ask that you please stand for the presentation of colors and our national anthem performed by the IUP Alumni Virtual Band directed and produced by Timothy Paul, associate professor in the Department of Music. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Paul and the IUP Alumni Virtual Band. The presence of friends and family is what makes occasions like this one most special. Because not all can be with us in the arena, I want to thank the families who have joined us through our webcast. Welcome. It is now my pleasure to introduce recorded remarks from two student speakers from the College of Humanities and Social Sciences. First, you will hear remarks from Madison Hendricks. Madison is an Ali Zaidi Award nominee and a Fulbright English Teaching Assistant finalist. She graduates today with a Bachelor of Science in Education, Music Education, and a Bachelor of Science in Education, Spanish Education. Following Madison's remarks, you will view recorded remarks from Kayla Vines, who graduates today with a Bachelor of Arts degree in International Studies with a double major in Asian Studies. Kayla is a Provost Scholar, serves as an IUP Ambassador, and as the President of the Political Leadership Society. Hello, my name is Madison Hendricks. I am a Music Education and Spanish Education major from the small town of Sotus, New York. I'm incredibly honored to be speaking to all of you today. This has certainly not been an easy academic year, but we have made the best of it, and most importantly, we are here today. For that, we all deserve a pat on the back. Since coming to IUP five years ago, I have grown and changed in ways I could not have imagined. Because of the opportunities I have had at IUP, I have broadened my horizons and stepped outside of my cultural comfort zone. As a result, I have been able to connect and feel connected to others throughout time and the world. My journey to self-improvement and global awareness started the minute I set foot on campus. As a Western New Yorker, coming to school in Western Pennsylvania was certainly a change for me. I was now surrounded by Steelers, Pens, and Pirates instead of the Bills. I heard Yins for the first time and so much more. At first, I was rather intimidated, but I was rewarded for my open-mindedness with new friendships and new ways to see the world. My classes at IUP have very much contributed to my academic and personal growth. While all of my courses and professors have left me better than they have found me, there were a few classes which had a particularly strong impact on me. For one, my anthropology class with Dr. Poole exposed me to various products, practices, and perspectives from around the world. It showed me not only how we are different and why, but also how we are linked together. This class demystified difference for me, making it both accessible and understandable. As a member of the Cook Honors College, I was able to tackle life's big questions through diverse perspectives. From English with Dr. Marsden to philosophy with Dr. McLeod, I got to view the world through the eyes of a philosopher, geographer, sociologist, historian, and psychologist. In Dr. Vaccaro's sociology class, I was able to relate to others by exploring the social context in which they lived. Through studying Spanish and music, I gained new perspectives on different cultures by learning about Brazilian percussion, Finnish choral pieces, gestures used in Spain, and classic Spanish literature. Last spring, I had the opportunity to study abroad in Valladolid, Spain. 
In the months before my departure, I was terrified of what was to come when swapping one country for another and one language for another. Instead of my home being five hours away, now everything I knew was on the other side of the ocean. However, I was rewarded for my bravery, and studying abroad ended up being one of the best experiences I have had. I made friends from across the globe, found incredible support from my host family and professors, traveled to Portugal, Belgium, and Luxembourg, and most importantly, I got to live in a new culture. And even though my experience was interrupted because of COVID, we were able to continue classes online and to weather quarantine together. Through this experience, I learned that the world beyond my hometown and beyond IEP is not a scary one. And even if the food, schedule, language, and paper, as I learned, is different, the love, care, and kindness found there is the same. Ultimately, this experience changed my perception of us versus them, and I implore you to find opportunities to do the same. And so, my parting message to all of you is to step outside of your comfort zone. While it is natural to approach that which is new with fear, we also need to approach it with curiosity and open-mindedness. It is all too easy to think of people who come from other nations, cultures, and creeds as somehow different from us, but what I have found is best summed up by John Green. There is no them, there are only facets of us. And so, please, take the time to explore that which you know nothing about, perhaps by traveling to a new country, studying a foreign language, watching an international movie, or listening to music from elsewhere, or falling down an article hole in Wikipedia, of which I am quite guilty. I hope to bring what I learned to my future music and language classes, my Fulbright experience, hopefully, and in my future studies. I hope you too will embark on explorations of your own because the new things you learn may just change your life for the better. Hello, my name is Kayla Vines. I am an International Studies and Asian Studies double major. I am also a first-generation, low-income, minority college student, and I believe that I represent many of you and your dreams, ambitions, and drive. 2020, the year of Tiger King, TikTok, and do-it-yourself haircuts. The year of Zoom backgrounds, wearing pajama bottoms with your blazer, and taking long car rides when your family starts to drive you crazy. 2020, the year the world stopped. The year of loss, disappointment, and most importantly, change. Flashback to March 2020. I was in Washington, D.C. at Model NATO organized by Dr. Sternfeld and Terrilyn Huntington of the IUP Political Science Department, meeting people from all around the globe. Only a week and a half later, the entire nation was told to go home, maintain a six feet distance from each other, and to not go outside unless absolutely necessary. This extreme change felt surreal, and along with it, we lost our school life. Within a month, IUP had gone completely online. We went from seeing friends and professors in person to watching them on a computer screen. Daily chats with our professors became quick email conversations. Dorm room get-togethers turned into weekly Zoom hangouts. Our jobs were shut down and we could not even catch a glimpse of a smile because of the mask we were wearing. We lost social interactions, motivation, and a sense of purpose. The pandemic has touched us in every way, whether that be loss of opportunity like an internship or study abroad, loss of identity, uncertainty regarding our future, and for some of us, loss of a loved one. I had been accepted for a David L. Boren scholarship, which is awarded only 200 people in the United States per year. It would have covered an entire year of study abroad in South Korea and gave me the opportunity to work for the federal government after graduation. I was ecstatic, but that all came crashing down a month into the pandemic when the entire program was canceled due to international travel restrictions put in place because of coronavirus. I was devastated when I could not take advantage of this opportunity and I was left wondering, why me? It sent me in into an intense downward spiral, but no matter the loss, life moves on. Since then, I have accepted two other federal scholarships and will be studying in South Korea this summer. I also stand before you today graduating a year early. Anything is possible once you put your mind to it. So now I pose a question to all of you. When looking back at every disappointment this pandemic has brought you, how has it changed you? Every single one of us is a different person than we were before the pandemic. So how have you grown? It is now 2021 the year the world begins again. The year of courage, bravery, and most importantly, drive. It is the year of redefining who we are, where we will go, and showing how resilient we have become in the face of adversity. Walt Disney once said, around here, however, we don't look backwards for very long. We keep moving forward, opening up new doors and doing new things, and curiosity keeps leading us down new paths. Instead of watching our lives pass us by, we will take control of them again and move forward. Just a few months ago, we did not even know if we would be here today, yet here we sit. The events of this past year will tie us together forever, no matter where we go when we leave here today. Some of you will go to graduate school, complete internships, or start your careers. No matter where you go, you will remember that we are strong individuals who know how to overcome suffering and loss, and you will keep moving forward. 
Class of 2021, we are special. We defied the odds and did the impossible. We reached the finish line. I am so proud to be standing here before you today knowing each and every one of us is moving forward. To quote a personal hero of mine, Elle Woods, it is with passion, courage of conviction, and a strong sense of self that we take our next steps into the world. You must always have faith in people, and most importantly, you must always have faith in yourself. Congratulations, class of 2021. We did it. Thank you, Ms. Hendricks. Thank you, Ms. Vines. I'm Tim Moreland, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, and it is such a privilege to welcome you this morning and to congratulate each of you today. At this moment, I ask Dean Lara Lutkehans of the College of Education and Communication to come forward and present the candidates from her college. Candidates for the degrees of Associate of Arts, Bachelor of Science, or Bachelor of Science in Education from the College of Education and Communications, please rise. President Driscoll, I have the honor to present the candidates for the Associate and Bachelor's degrees in the academic disciplines in the College of Education and Communications. Thank you, Dr. Lutkehans. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Council of Trustees of Indiana University of Pennsylvania and the Board of Governors of the Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education and on recommendation of the faculty and your dean and subject to completion of all degree requirements, I confer upon you the degree of Associate of Arts, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, or Bachelor of Science in Education as earned. Sienna Burke. Jordan Butler. Olivia Critchlow. Eben Umar Subri de Grafenried. Sierra Gaunt. Bryce Gibson. Marvin June Joseph Kearney Gideon Kinfei Brianna Lockard Michaela Lydic Morgan McFeely Jaden Meyer, Jennifer Miller, Cody Nulf, Amy Pasante, Erica Simios, Maria Shaw. Haley Supiski, Riley Skurbitz, Tamira Smith, Diane Ward, Megan Uhas. Today, we congratulate all of our graduates for their success, but I would like to take a moment to recognize our ROTC graduates. The IUP Military Science Program has commissioned 2,294 officers since its inception in 1950. We continue to provide some of the best and brightest young leaders across all degree paths and professions. On behalf of the IUP University community, I would like to take a moment to express gratitude to graduates, staff, faculty, and guests in the audience today who have served or who are actively serving in our military. Thank you for your service. Now it's my pleasure to introduce a video of Alexa Zezak to present the senior class gift. Alexa will graduate with a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology from the Kopchick College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics. 
Every graduating student has left their mark on IEP in our own unique way. For some, their contribution was made by participating in student organizations, mentoring a peer, artistic contributions, or athletic performances. Others choose to give back by making a gift to an area on campus that mattered most to them. These gifts touch every part of campus life here at IUP, thereby leaving a legacy that will far outlive our time here. We know that by investing in the areas of IUP that matter most to us, we are providing future students the opportunity to have those same IUP experiences and memories we cherish. The class of 2021 is committed to showing our support for those who will follow in our footsteps. Graduates who contributed to the senior class gift are recognized with a crimson and gray philanthropy cord to wear as they celebrate their accomplishments. The philanthropy cord represents our desire to leave a legacy to our alma mater. Thank you for your contribution to the life of the university and congratulations on reaching this milestone accomplishment. Please join me in thanking the class of 2021 for this very worthy investment. Now, I'm pleased to introduce a video of John Simpson, president of the IUP Alumni Association Board of Directors. Mr. Simpson will welcome our new graduates into the association. I welcome each and every one of our new graduates as members of the IUP Alumni Association. You share this wonderful university with more than 150,000 alumni who cross this stage before you. You will have been and always will be a member of the IUP community, but today your membership status has changed. Continue to be proud. IUP alumni are known for taking what they've experienced here and making a better world. Among our alumni are prominent business leaders and policymakers, college presidents, owners of small businesses, inventors, scientists, educators, award-winning artists and musicians, clergy, army generals, and experts who care for the health and well-being of people, families, and communities. Without my degree and experience at IUP, I would not have ever landed my dream job as a marketing manager with the Pittsburgh Steelers for the past 22 seasons up until my retirement on April 2nd, 2020. Never give up. Always keep pursuing your passion and your dreams. As you embark on your life's next journey, please always remember that your relationship with IUP is symbiotic. You needed the university and it needs you. Always remember where you came from and that you can always come home again. Congratulations to you all. I would now ask that you please rise for the alma mater and the retiring of the colors. The alma mater is performed by the IUP Wind Ensemble with the Alumni Virtual Band and Vocalist under the direction of Dr. Timothy Paul.